Hey everyone, thank you for watching A for Survival. Today we're going to be talking about some more budget survival gear. Stay tuned. Okay everybody, this series began because this year for Christmas I received a lot of items. A lot of them come from Walmart and that's not a problem. There's uh, nothing wrong with anything you can get at a big box store. However, just keep in mind there are better options available. We all have to start somewhere and nine times out of ten you got to start on a budget. So let's open the pack and see what we got. Okay everybody, so we've already talked a little bit about this Czech Republic rubberized rucksack. It is the large version. Definitely an affordable option. Great for those expeditions that are a little risky or for beginners or young people. It is a little bit bigger than I prefer. And with that said, you don't want to overload yourself. But in the winter, you got the bigger, bulkier gear and you do want to keep it dry. Your life may depend on it. Now, ooh, Santa brought us a lot of goodies, guys. And I don't know necessarily where to start. Uh, all right. We'll just go front to back on this one. So what we have here is by Ozark Trail is the six piece flashlight, headlamp, lantern, and pin light combo. Guys, we all saw this on the shelf. It came for about $10. Okay, here we are guys. We've got a flashlight, headlamp, lantern, and pin light combo. It does come with two pocket style flashlights, two pin lights, one headlamp, and one battery operated lantern. Now these lanterns are good for the area effect. Looking at the size, it does say that the mini lantern operates at 40 lumens for a runtime of three hours. We have the headlamp, which is 45 lumens. That's not much, guys, not much at all. It has a runtime of two hours. Again, not much, but for a $10 combo kit, we'll take it. We've got flashlights that run at 30 lumens. It's gotta be these little ones. We'll get everything out and put the batteries in here in just a moment. And the pin lights at 25 lumens. Guys, I wouldn't recommend carrying anything less than 300 lumens for different reasons, but some light's better than no light, especially if you're in a bad situation. I haven't gotten it open, guys. We'll take a look at this lantern first. Very small, plastic lantern. It is clear, you can see right through it. Kind of a neat look. Where I think this will come in handy is more of your blackout kits. Next, we do have your small flashlights. Again, very low light emitting device, but something better than nothing. Now, these two items, these three items, considering probably will make their way into my blackout kit at home. Something in case the power goes out and you don't, you don't need that far reaching light. Just a little something to help you find your better stuff. Light some candles, maybe make a little food or make your way to the door to get out of the building. Well, I think will come in more handy and probably stay on me a little more than the rest are these little pin lights. Very useful, very small. They'll fit in those little pocket kits that we carry that you can slip them in your shirt pocket and your pants pocket. No reason you shouldn't have a flashlight, guys. This whole kit come in at $10. $10. You can't beat that. And the headlamp. This will probably make its way into actual venturing gear. Now, in an emergency, you may need your hands. If you are resetting the breakers, making your way down to the basement, you might need your hands. And a headlamp will afford you that option for 10 bucks, guys. $10. You, you can afford this. You can afford to put a light in your pocket every day, one in your car, one in your blackout box, one in your work bag. No excuse not to. For $10, whew. let's put the batteries in and take a peek at these. So speaking of batteries, this kit does come with 17 AAA batteries. Won't do you no good if it didn't. So we got the headlamp out. It did come with an adjustable head strap. It does have the three point system on it. Sliding it on, it does have an adjustment so that you can turn your light downward so that you can see what your hands are working on or keep it out of the eyes of your fellow campers. We'll talk about that another day. Turning it on you'll notice you do have a high, a low, and a strobe function. These are very useful. I get tired of some of your other headlamps that have two dozen settings, your reds, your greens, your blues, your strobe, your multi settings. I like simple to be honest with you. On, off, high, low. Sometimes you're just in the tent you don't need to be wasting all that battery time. Let's see. What should we look at next? So looking at the flashlight, we do have an anodized aluminum shell. 
real cheap plastic lens and LED bulbs on here, guys. I do kind of like some of these LEDs. It does work. Nothing special. But again, for a kit or a box, better than nothing. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You can tell instantly it's cheap quality gear, guys. However, there are some features on here that I do appreciate having. First one to mention is the rubber seal on these pin lights. It'll give longevity for it. It's about four, inch, four and a half inches long, I guess. Little push button on the end. Works just fine. This will be good for a medical kit. Checking for pupil dilation. Definitely in a pinch, you can put it in your mouth and work on whatever you need to work on. It does have a pocket clip on here so that you can keep up with it in the dark, hanging around a necklace. There's all kinds of ways you can put these pin lights to work. And the point of them is they fit anywhere. No excuse not to carry a pin light, guys. I would definitely, after a little while, upgrade to a much stronger, much more durable and long-lasting pin light. But again, we got two of them. We got those two flashlights and we got that headlamp. Now let's take a look at that lantern. So back to the lantern. It is a completely plastic setup. So if you're going to put this in your pack, get ready for it to crack. But in your house, in your blackout kit, this thing would be very useful. All right, now putting the batteries in were real simple. Just unscrew the bottom plastic cap. Put in four AAAs. Again, I love that this kit included all 17 batteries needed to operate all the equipment. It does have a bell on the top. Push button. And it comes on. Now, it does have a second light inside of it, which does emit a small blue light. Definitely save your night sights. It does have a blinking strobe feature to help get attention from overhead if, if you really need that. But the primary source or use for this will be that main white area light. Okay, so real quick, I wanna go ahead and just take a moment and talk about why you want to have a flameless light source that you can hang. I've mentioned it in previous videos. And number one reason is because a lot of people use tents or under your like nylon tarps. You don't want open flame. They will burn a hole right through or set your tent on fire. That is not good. It also emits carbon monoxide. Flames always do. But you can bring this, hang it on your ridge line, put it in your tent, sit on top of your cooler, play it, play some cards, pass the time when the power is out. Definitely a good option. I would not want to put this in my backpack. I just, I could tell that's going to get cracked, especially bouncing around with a bush pot or a knife. Guys, I appreciate you watching this budget piece of gear. Again, this was the six piece flashlight lantern pin light combo set from Walmart. $10, $10 and 17 AAA batteries later. We've got some options. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, smash your like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, stay safe.